So today I wanted to do a kind of gloomier, darker fall makeup look. And I'm really thankful because today's video is sponsored by Urban Outfitters. You guys might already know, but there is a beauty line that they sell called Ohai. Ohai has like a really cute kind of minimalistic vibe. They're also 100% cruelty free, paraben free, and most of their products are vegan. You guys know that I really try hard to only use cruelty free products. So I'm really excited that I get to work with them. And as always, I want to make sure that I say thank you to you guys because without you, opportunities like this would not come to me. I just want to show my appreciation to you guys and to Urban Outfitters. But anyways, let's get started. So I've already done my base and my brows and now I'm going to be using the Ohai Wake Up Pen. So this pen is used for brightening the eyes and I typically don't do this except that I wanted to try this because I've recently gotten back from Asia and I've been kind of jet lagged and I've noticed that my under eyes are a lot darker than usual. So I wanted to try this out. This is in the shade Peach. So to get product, you just twist the bottom of the pen and then there's a little fuzzy applicator on top and you just go like this. And you guys know me, I really like to use my fingers. So I'm just going to tap the product in with my fingers. Okay, so I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but after I put this on, this isn't really like a concealer, but this is more, it has like a really dewy effect to it. So I think that's what they mean by brightening under the eyes and I actually quite like it. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Ohai Treasure Eye Palette. I chose this palette because it had a lot of darker, warmer colors and that's kind of the vibe that I want to go for. Okay, the first color I'm going to use is this one. It is a plum color and it's called Garnet. I'm just going to be taking this color and blending it all over my lid with an eyeshadow brush. And as always, my trick to having mono lids is to kind of blend where your eye socket is. So if you push into your eye, you kind of stop the blending there. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeshadow and I'm actually very surprised. So I thought this was going to be really hard to work with because you guys know that I like to apply eyeshadow first with my fingers. So I tried to pick it up with my fingers first and the shadow didn't pick up very well. And so I was like, oh no, this is going to be really hard to blend. But then I was like, I'm just going to try it with a brush. So then I have this Fenty Beauty 210 blending brush. I tapped the brush into this and it picked up color so much better and it blended so easily for me. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take another matte color and this one is a really dark brown called Charcoal. I'm going to use this brush from Real Techniques. I don't know what it's called because the name rubbed off, but I'm trying to show my brushes more in these makeup videos because I get a lot of questions on that. So I'm just going to take this and blend it in on the outer parts of my eye. So whenever I do this part with really dark colors like this one, I always make sure to go little by little and to blend as much as possible before I start grabbing for more color because sometimes I end up grabbing way too much of the color and, and then my eyes look too dark and crazy and then I have to wipe off all my eyeshadow and do it again. So just be patient and go little by little. Also another tip is that whenever you have monolids, I I look down at my mirror whenever I blend my eyeshadow, but make sure every once in a while you look up too because then you can kind of see what it really looks like when your eyes are open. Whew, using darker colors is always very intimidating because I get scared that I'm going to mess up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be taking the charcoal shade again and I'm going to be using this brush. It's Oh, the name rubbed off again. <laughs> so I don't know the name of this, but it's a very flat looking brush. And I just like to use this to kind of, I like to create an eyeliner look, but with eyeshadow. So I just kind of create a line on my upper lash line and I kind of wing it out a bit on my eye. So this is what it looks like and I think it makes a small difference on this area of my eye. Like it definitely looks a little bit darker, but I like the effect it makes on the wing part. Okay, for the next part of the eyes, I'm going to be doing my lower lash line and I'm going to be using the same brush and whatever of the charcoal pigment is left on it. And I'm going to be taking the Garnet color again and I'm going to be applying this and blending it out on my lower lash line. 
Okay guys, we are almost done with the eyes. Last thing I wanna do is mascara. I have this Ohai Mini Mascara. You guys know that I did get my lash lift, so I don't really need to curl my eyelashes or anything. I'm just going to apply the mascara. Oh my gosh, this is so mini. I'm just going to apply this all over my lashes. I kind of like to shake the brush a little bit to, to separate my lashes. I think I really like how small the wand is because my eyelashes are so much smaller and I don't have as many. I feel like having a smaller applicator makes it easier to apply. After you guys do this, make sure not to blink too much, otherwise it's gonna transfer onto the top and bottom parts of your eye. If you guys have eyes like mine and eyelashes like mine, I feel like you'll like this because the wand is really small, so it's really easy to use. Okay, so I usually do this at the beginning, but I totally forgot to prep my lips with anything, so I'm gonna be using this Ohai Lip Jelly. The one I have is called Rose. I just like to hydrate my lips before I put any lip products on. Hmm, smells really good and went on really smooth. I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush. And so I usually powder my face right here and here and here because I get kind of oily in that area. So I have this Ohai glass powder. Out of all the products, this one has my favorite packaging. First, it just has a really nice color and it looks really cute. But mostly I like it because it has a mirror and it has this little cover on it over the powder. And I think that's really nice. Anyways, this powder comes with a little cushion and it's not like a loose powder. You kind of have to like swipe it in. Okay, so I put it on and it definitely did the job. It mattified my face and everything. So I do really like it. Um, I'm using the Ohai True Matte Lip. This is in the color Supreme. It's this really dark kind of maroonish brick color. I'm going to be very light-handed with this. Anyways, this is the lip color. I really like this color. I think it's so kind of sultry and dark for fall. But anyways, guys, this is the finished look. It's kind of a sultry, dark fall makeup look. <laughs> I really hope that you guys like the video. If you guys want to try out the Ohai products, they are being sold at Urban Outfitters and I believe they are also available in Europe. But yeah, I hope you guys like the video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!